Oh, okay, will this suffice? You're on top of a candle box on top of another box. I'm just getting ready. It's Saturday and I'm in the salon today. I thought I'd get this vlog off to a start. Um, I've been quite busy. I've missed a week or so because Gabe was on half term. I was also kind of working quite a lot, so it was a bit of a juggle. This weekend is still quite busy, so I was in the salon yesterday all day. In the salon all day today and tomorrow, which is Sunday. I've had lots of lovely new clients, which has been really nice. Um, so yeah, weekends generally is when I work the most. I do work throughout the week, but I tend to work every weekend all day. But that's, at the moment, the easiest time for me to work because Hainsey's always home um, there's less chance of us conflicting and it also just frees me up in the week slightly although some weeks I do still get very busy during the week I can have a bit more flexibility in the week which I like to do I like to have weekdays to do other things that I need to do um, so, but also Elliot's at home and as I say if it conflicts with Hainsey's work then it just works a bit easier anyway I actually feel really quite tired and not that well but it's okay we move I've been watching recently two great series. One, Mr. and Mrs. Smith on Amazon Prime, if anyone's watched that. I thought it was great. And then we are just watching One Day. I've seen a lot of people talk about it and say how sad it is. And I never watched the film or read the book, but actually, when the film was being filmed, I lived on the street. It was being filmed on Boundary Street. Boundary Road or Boundary Street? I can't even remember. But it's got the Albion on it and Deshume on it. I used to live in a flat in one of those red brick flats kind of above the Albion. Well, a bit opposite the Albion. And when that film one day was being filmed, it was filmed, part of it was filmed on that street. I remember being told like, oh, this film one day is filming. And I was like, I have no idea what that is. But anyway, thought of one day, I always think about then. Anyway, so we've been watching the series of that. Do you know, it took me a while. I've been enjoying it, but I, I just didn't buy the relationship at first. I don't know, I felt like they have chemistry, but I don't know what it was. It was just something that wasn't connecting for me, but their performances were amazing. I feel like it's suddenly taken a turn and now I'm like fully invested in this relationship. We're on episode 12. If anyone's watched it, it's when they're in Paris, so that's where we are. Uh, and I sobbed at that one and I'm sure we've got two episodes left and I'm sure like that's just the tip of the iceberg. I am really, really enjoying it. I, I also love leo riddle such a dream boy isn't he i quite enjoyed him in white lotus um but i, I really am enjoying him now so um there's that as well which is what which is quite nice oh what a day kids are down well haynes is just putting gabe down to sleep but oh such a busy day in the salon lovely clients wonderful day but I feel quite exhausted now, which makes me really excited to say that this portion is sponsored by HelloFresh. I've worked with HelloFresh many times before, especially on days like this where I've been working all day. It's just been quite a busy week and life has just been really busy recently. So planning meals has taken a bit of a back seat and that's where HelloFresh is just the best thing ever because I choose the meals before, they come, everything's perfectly portioned out, there's no food waste, and it just makes things so much easier when I have a very busy day and I can come home and know that I'm gonna cook something deliciously balanced and that just tastes really good and is really easy. If for some reason you haven't heard of HelloFresh, they are a recipe box service. So every week you go on, choose from over 44 recipes per week, and you can choose for two, three, four people. You don't have to do it every week, you can do it every other week. Go on, choose out 44 recipes, what you wanna have, it gets delivered to your door. They come with these fab recipe cards that show you what the meal looks like and has step-by-step -step instructions. It's just the best thing ever for kind of experimenting with more dishes. I always say this story, Hello Fresh is the reason that I am able to cook rice. I could never cook rice normally from scratch until I started using HelloFresh. For that alone, they have been well worth the investment. Um, so tonight we are having Bombay style lamb curry because it's quick. So you can pick from categories of recipes. So they've got family, they've got gastro, they've got like under a certain amount of calories. They have quick. So for me, this is ideal because when I've been working all day, I just want to get something yummy on the table. The recipe cards, you have a number. That number corresponds to a bag. This bag has everything you need in it. Although the meat is in the fridge uh, because I already unboxed everything. Everything that needs to go in the fridge is in the fridge, but everything else is in these perfectly portioned bags. Okay, let's get cooking.
Here we go, look at that lovely hearty meal. Do you want to be in the taste test? I mean you, ladies, ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Stunning. Here you go, your turn. Hard to impress. Oh, well, mince is nice, yeah. The mince is nice. Mince is great. I pick, so they do quite a few of these mince curry recipes. I pick them quite often because it's a really easy way to cook curry. The best thing about this week's Hello Fresh is we also have pudding. There's some little extras that you can get sometimes. This week, I chose to get the goo key lime pies. Hayes had never had key lime pie before, so it's very exciting. And I actually love nothing more than a key lime pie. I think it could possibly be one of my favorite desserts. Of course, I've got a little something for you guys. If you want to try HelloFresh, I will have a QR code and also a discount code that I will leave on the screen. So I'll also pop it in the description bar below. But if you want to try HelloFresh, then you can sign up and you'll get 60% off your first box and then 20% off your boxes for the next two months. So that could be 20% off like eight boxes in theory if you did it every week or if you do it every other week. It's down to you how, how often you want to do it. But within the first two months after getting the 60% off, you will get 20% off. And I think each meal works out at something like £3.14 and that's before the discount. So incredible value for money especially these days it's a really great option if like me you're a busy mum and you don't have time to really think about food during the week or you want to get out of a bit of a rut i know that i always order the same things pretty much every week for our dinners so we have like a rotation of four or five dinners and it becomes very boring the easy way to introduce something new to the repertoire also so convenient you can pause it whenever you want to so it's not a huge commitment if you don't want it to be such a great option thank you as always to hellofresh for working with me on this portion of the video we are going to enjoy our key lime pies and watch one day <laughs> Hello, good morning. It's Sunday and it is my third full day in the salon. I'm quite tired at this point. Not complaining because it's wonderful. Wonderful to be busy and wonderful to be working, but I feel like I've got a bit of a sore throat situation. Like my ear hurts and then like down here, like the side of my tongue. Does anyone know what I mean when I say that? I left the salon in an absolute state last night because I had such a long day and then just need to get, get back home. So I need to tidy slightly before my first client comes in. Um, but yes, it's my last like stretch of four days. Because three days in a row doing hair, I know it doesn't sound a lot, but it's a very physical job and they're quite long days that I do. And again, I love doing it, but I definitely feel after a few days in a row, like, oh my God, I'm exhausted. I'm looking forward to uh, I think I am actually doing hair tomorrow, but it's my friend. Um, so it's a bit more chilled and it's only quick. And today won't be a particularly long day, but no, it might be actually. <laughs> I need to make a coffee. I need to tidy the salon. I mean, God, look at that. I need to tidy the salon, get it in ship shape, ready for the day. So do excuse me whilst I do that. blind have this blind here which is great to have i don't really open it all the way oh god i don't think i've shown you let me show you the outside my friend over christmas b came and painted the outside of my salon um not painted it like did some art i'd ordered this kind of sticker thing because basically this is really bad but like it still says the old business name and i need to get someone to come and take that off because it's like metal that's nailed to there so i need that taken off but i ordered this just as like a holding so people know what it is and then my friend b came and drew this on and then this as well she did it for christmas but because it's like a winter theme i was like well i can keep it for the whole of winter basically but my aim for this year is to get the shop front sorted i'd like to paint it like have it freshly painted and as i say i've got to take the old sign off but i've realized since having like a salon i don't really have many handy men in my life <laughs> And that would be really quite helpful if I did. I have to hire people to do things. Also, that's from Christmas as well, my eucalyptus. The berries are on their way out. I need to 
fill it with water but the eucalyptus i feel like you can have it for quite a long time because it just gives this nice kind of silvery color but yeah my goal for this year is definitely to sort out the shop front um that would be lovely but as i say i need to hire people to do it for me because the road's kind of sloped and i don't have a big ladder and i just don't know how i'd get those letters off so i did speak to the handyman about doing it before christmas so i will do that at some point but then painting the outside i think i should just wait until spring now so that we know that the weather's going to be okay and also that is going to be a big cost so i can't actually budget for that at the moment <laughs> so that would be something i'd like to do anyway let's have my coffee it's actually been really nice doing these three full days i work most weekends like last weekend i did saturday and sunday and have been doing that pretty much since kind of january but january i was much more quiet because hainsey was working a lot so i did need to be at home so i was only really do doing weekends but i started picking up um more clients during the week now because um hainsey's a bit more flexible but it's been quite nice i feel like these last three days have really got me back into the swing of being in the salon and kind of reminding me like how much i love actually doing hair I love doing hair but I've been quite consumed with like TikTok and building like that side of the business to have like a kind of passive-ish income it's not passive I have to do things but to build another kind of revenue stream for me as a working mum which means that if I can't be in salon if Hainsey's is busy or I'm ill or something the kids are ill I've got a little bit more leeway because the thing about having a, a job that you have to physically be at um, and, you, and there's no way of working from home. Um, if I'm not here, I don't make money. And so it's been really nice to be able to kind of create something else for myself, which could potentially sustain us um, and be in like another arm of my business. But anyway, besides that, um, so I, it was easy to kind of throw myself into that. And then I was just coming to the salon and doing hair, being like, oh, I've got to be in the salon tomorrow. But actually the last three days, I've had a couple of new clients. It's just been so nice and has made me really feel like we appreciate doing actually doing hair and how much i love it and how much i love being in the salon how grateful i am to have a salon of my own like i'm just feeling a bit like grateful <laughs> and it's like reignited that like like wanting to get the shop front done and build the salon and i still need to do things in here like i want to get another chair and um i'm thinking i want to maybe like i don't know i just want to do things with the salon it's kind of reinvigorated my passion for being here um which is great because uh, i think when it's busy leading up to christmas and then like january i wasn't really here that much it's easy to and when you've got other things to focus on it's easy to just to not realize like how much i do actually love being here and doing clients hey hello Early it's tuesday today and daddy was away last night working he's working all day today he'll be back this evening um so it's just me on mum duty we dropped gabe's nursery this morning and now here we are i've got to take elliot to the doctor he's fine but he's had like a waxy ear for ages i've noticed it and he keeps tugging at it so i thought let's take him this morning to finally get that looked at properly um and whilst we're out i'm gonna do a few kind of errandy bits and then come home and then hopefully it'll be nap time for him and I can have a bit of time. Hi! Like, can we just put our shoes on? I don't know if anyone remembers these. These were Gabe's first shoes and now Ellie's wearing them! Because Ellie can actually walk. So that's quite exciting. Oh, okay. Well, I might have turned this off. Okay, we're on our way. I just thought I'd show you we're sporting brand new Baby Zen. Hello! Sporting brand new Baby Zen. Um, for those of you that saw that vlog, I had to buy this buggy again because I left the other one last week. I mean, the less said about it, the better. I've moved on. <laughs> Hello. The one I just take him out. <laughs> what are you doing, my little love? Hello. It's big enough when I just take him out, I prefer to use this one because it's so much easier. Um, you realise how cumbersome a baby buggy is once you use something like this? And I'm so pleased that now I can just whip this out and off we go. Also, how second child is this of me? I've just realised I've come out with no wipes, no nappies, no muslin, like, no supplies. I was saying to a friend who's due a second baby, she was like, any tips? And I was like, honestly, remember what you need to take out with a younger child because so often I leave the house with nothing. <laughs> because if I'm just popping to the shops with Gabe, I don't need to bring anything. <laughs> what an idiot, I can't believe I've done that. Anyway, um, so hopefully we don't have 
I mean, he's, he's done a poo this morning. Do you know what? It's fine. <laughs> this is quite funny because Gabe was born during COVID and every time I went out with him, I had literally a change of clothes, nappies, wipes, the kitchen sink, like everything and anything that I could possibly need. And I was only going for a walk with him along the river and it was COVID, I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> but, right, do you know how annoying? Who else? I understand, like, the sentiment of these bikes that you can just use whenever but people just leave them in the most annoying places especially when you have a buggy um right so there we go okay went to the doctors everything's fine he's just got wax in his ear but nothing it's not obstructing so we just went to waitress i actually forgot that i brought you with me so we just went to waitress we've got some bits and now we're gonna go to ollie and steen and get a little pastry treat and then go home and then have some lunch right you let's whiz round honestly this is why the baby's in is worth the money when i need any distracted because i'm making lunch just leave it up don't pack it away as soon as you get in and he'll just kind of climb on it turn the brake on so it doesn't move hello ellie oh We've just thrown all those very expensive rice cakes on the floor. Stunning. Ellie's just gone down for his nap. Um, I don't know if anyone remembers me ever talking about Gabe and sippy cups. <laughs> Probably not. But basically, Gabriel still has uh, milk from a bottle. Because he never took to a sippy cup, never took to drinking water. And in, like, along with... Basically, when you have a kid with additional needs, you start to not really care. You... you it, makes you really laid back about things that don't really matter and what he was what vessel he was drinking from and what liquid he was drinking just didn't matter as long as he was drinking he's basically only really been having uh, oat milk from a bottle as his main kind of drink uh for the past three and a half years and there like he can drink out of an open cup he can drink out of sippy cups but when it comes to what like he spits out the water but he thinks it's funny so he'll take a sip and then he'll be like <sighs> You kind of pick your battles, you know? So anyway, and I had thought, I wonder if as Elliot starts doing more things, might that encourage Gabe? And um, it seems to have done because we have those Tommy Tippy ones. Let me show you. This was like the first Tippy cup I ever bought Gabe, not interested. Also, how annoying are these lids to get off? If you know, you know. Anyway, obviously started Elliot on one of those and it was just being kind of left out about the place. Then Gabe started to pick it up and start drinking out of it. Um, so that's been great so he and then he quite happily does that he doesn't spit it out he'll bring it over to the sink fill it up with water himself and then drink like the whole thing of water so that's been great i then thought yesterday in my sippy cup collection we also have this one which is a basically the thing about these is both the boys like to shake them and then water goes everywhere yes i try and close this but they open it because they like the water to go everywhere they're boys so uh, we've then graduated onto these munchkin ones so this is like a kind of like trying to get them to drink out of an open cup but it doesn't drip i mean if you really shake it and hold it like this it will eventually but it doesn't drip so we had one of these i got it out for elliot yesterday took to it quite well it was on the side yesterday evening and gabe started drinking out of it again no problem so that the other one we had has now gone with Gabe's nursery although I think at nursery he drinks out an open cup uh, so basically I wanted to go and buy another one of these so that Elliot's got one and Gabe's got one um, but not even really it's it's like theirs specifically just so that we have two of them so that if one's gone with Gabe we've got another one um, they only had this kind of pinky purple colour um, but you know that's fine so yeah that's a very boring update for you I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and then watch an episode of one day because we finished it and I'm, I'm re-watching it it's just stayed with me like there's something about it that just stays with you i cannot stop listening to the soundtrack and i'm just obsessed so i started re-watching it last night i'm gonna watch an episode now i was talking to my mum this morning because she started watching it and she was like oh i wasn't sure if it was for me at first um but she finished it last night and was texting me like oh my god sobbing and she texted me this morning was like i think i'm gonna have to rewatch one day and i'm like yeah you do. i don't know what it does you have to and i think i've realized what it was like why I couldn't really get get into the relationship uh, in the first like half of the series. 
and it's because they're they're kind of asking a lot like they want you to believe that this couple has this huge connection really based on like one night when nothing really happens like they chat but it's not like they were best friends throughout uni i'm not giving away any spoilers if you haven't watched it but it's not like they were best friends throughout uni they literally meet on the last night of uni don't sleep together and just have a deep chat and but then they're like intrinsically connected for like 20 years and so i found that right off the bat hard to invest in because they went on holiday together and i was like why is there this connection when nothing's really happened they just get on really but i found that as i continued to watch it and the history between them built that's when i became invested so it was the episode in paris that i took a turn and was sobbing and i was like oh my god i'm obsessed with this couple and like the actress that plays um the actress that plays emma is just incredible like i feel like I'm, i've just been watching like interviews <laughs> on tiktok and i just, i can't honestly it's got under my skin i can't function elliot is starting at a childminder tomorrow i went to see one and it was great and then I messaged them straight away and I was like, yes, please, we'd love to start with you. So he's, we're doing settling in tomorrow. So he'll be there for an hour and a half and then should hopefully, well, we'll, we'll see. And then he'll do sometime on Thursday, he's doing Wednesdays and Thursdays. So we're going to see how he settles in tomorrow and then go from there. But I'm so, I feel so relieved and happy that he's starting at Childminders because I just feel like he's ready. I feel like he's going to love being with other children and he's just at that point and we're at that point where it's like he just needs something else in the week to be doing. So I feel really excited that um, that's all happening from tomorrow. It's great, it's fabulous. Like I'm moving into like the next phase of like getting back to myself with both of the boys being out for two days a week. I think that's just gonna make such a difference. I can kind of commit to doing things like I mentioned before, like Pilates classes and um, going to the gym. I can sort things out, like do the washing. I just feel like I'm just gonna have a bit of a clearer mind and a little bit more of a routine by this happening. So yeah, I'm really pleased. But anyway, right, I'm gonna eat my bagel and watch an episode of one day.